everyone, happy Halloween. Today I wanna to show you an updated version of my inspirational fashion rack and also I updated my shoe shelves, so I will show you that as well. And I did this back in the summer as well. I did a video on this fashion rack and also a separate video on my shoe shelves. So I will link those below if you wanna go see what they looked like back in the summer. But I did say that I would do an updated one when the weather turned and I ended up changing up the clothes that are on this rack and the shoes that are on my shelves. So I just wanted to show you what I have on it right now. This clothing rack is the very first thing that I see when I wake up because it's right next to my bed. I have a really yummy candle burning right now. It's Autumn by Bath & Body Works and I have a fresh cup of coffee in my pumpkin mug that I'm sipping on to wake me up. So I like keeping colors and textures that are inspiring me in the moment and that I'm really loving. And I also like keeping new items on here because I just like seeing some of the newer items that I've purchased. I'm not tired of them yet, so I just kind of like looking at them. So this rack is a combination of new things and old favorites that I love for this time of year. So first I have three purses that are hanging on the side. The first one is one that I got last year. This is from Free People. Behind that I have two Rebecca Minkoff bags and I showed both of these in my fall accessories haul so I will link that video below as well. And I have orange nail polish on to celebrate it being Halloween today. Then I have a bunch of chunky knit sweaters. This one I've had forever, this first one. It's from Free People, and I showed it back in a video like two years ago or something. I've had this for a long time, but I love it. It's so, so comfortable. And then behind that, I have a new one. This is from American Eagle. It's very similar to the first one. I mean, they are a really similar color, but they are different in style. This one has a scalloped edge, which I think is really, really cool. Behind that, I have a cropped Free People sweater that I've had for a while, and I've actually never worn it. So that's why I pulled it out, because it still has its tag on it, and it makes me feel really bad. I'm like, why have I never worn that? So again, I just kind of have it out here so I see it. So even though it's a similar color to the first two, it's a totally different shape. This is the same exact one as the American Eagle one I showed here, just in a different color. Next is a dress that I got from Forever 21. This is so pretty. It's lace all the way down, and then it has this pearl Peter Pan collar. Next is a blouse from Forever 21 with this really pretty ruffled kind of collar, but it does get really wrinkly. I don't even know why it is so wrinkly. I need to like steam this or something. Behind that is another top from Forever 21. I just really liked the color. I liked the polka dots, but actually this shirt is not that pretty on. It just like swamps me, even though it's a small, and I fit into Forever 21 smalls normally, but this is huge, so I don't even know what to do with it. I'm trying to figure out ways to wear it. I haven't been able to wear it yet, even though it's so adorable because it's just so big. So if you guys have any ideas on how I can wear this, let me know. Behind that, I have one of my Wild Fox baggy beach jumpers that I love. This one's kind of funny when you wear it though because the flowers like hit you right at your chest. So it's just kind of funny. Like every time I wear it, my mom is like, oh my goodness, Elle, what are you wearing? I have this green blouse also from Forever 21 and I love the color of this and it also has this tie neckline that I think is really pretty. Behind that, I have a beige accordion skirt. And then I have a khaki peplum skirt from Forever 21 that I actually wore with this green top tucked in on Good Morning America, and it looked really, really nice. And the last thing on this rack is my Hufflepuff scarf. This is from Forever 21 as well, and I wore it in a video. It was my last video, my last beauty video. And a lot of people were talking about how Hufflepuffs are awesome, and I should be a Hufflepuff. And I started thinking about it, and maybe I actually would be a Hufflepuff. I don't know. In that video, I say I think I'd be a Gryffindor or a Ravenclaw, but maybe I would would be a Hufflepuff. And then on the bottom, I have four pairs of boots. These are all from my limited edition collection with justfab.com. You can only get these for another like two weeks or something. And they are so cute. So I have a lot of them in my shoe rack or on my shoe rack rather, but I have these because they're so tall, just standing up underneath my fashion rack. And it looks really nice with the clothes above it. It just goes color wise. I've stuck magazines inside here to keep them standing up. Just the freebies that come in the mail that you normally just throw away like catalog and stuff I put in there so that it stands up nicely without having to spend money on those boot stackers or whatever they're called where you put like the plastic in it and it keeps your boots straight so these two on the end are amazing they are so comfortable guys it comes in both black and tan and I love them I actually ordered two pairs of them in each color because I am gonna live in them for the rest of my life I'm convinced and then these both have buckle detailing I'll show them up close 
so it has a buckle and these are flat ah they all fell over like dominoes and then this one has a little bit of a heel i obviously love all of the shoes that we designed for just fab but these four are my favorite and these four are the ones that i'm getting the most use out of so that's part of the reason why they're out here i just love skinny jeans tucked into boots with chunky sweaters so that's what's out here that's what's inspiring me right now but now i'm going to show you what's on my shoe shelves i'll give you a quick overview of the shoes that are currently on my shelf these are the shoes that are inspiring me in the moment and that I'm wearing the most often. The rest of them are stored away in the same way that they were in the last video. So if you guys want to see what I do with the rest of my shoes that maybe aren't quite in season or that I don't wear as often, watch that video. I'll link it below because I keep my other shoes in the same exact system. But one thing that I have changed is I took the bottom three shelves and I added these pink and black bins from Bed Bath & Beyond to store some things that I didn't really know what to do with. So I'll go through those as well. But I'll start at the top without making you guys too dizzy. So the top I have black booties and black heels. Those are a little bit dressier. I don't wear them as often but they are in season and I do wear them a lot. So I have them up on the top shelf plus they're pretty up there. The next shelf, those two are from my Just Fab collection, and there's actually an interesting story about the pair in the middle. As you can see, they're kind of similar to the pair beside it. Those are the shoes that I wore to the Teen Choice Awards two years ago, and I love them. I haven't really been able to wear them very many other places, but they were perfect for that outfit. Just I felt like they were so cute that day. Also, there's a part in our book, Beneath the Glitter, where Sophia is described as wearing a shoe with turquoise snake skin, and that is what these shoes are. So if you wanna own Sophia's shoes, these are the shoes for you. And then we have these little bow booties, and they come in three colors. There's this color, there's the taupe color, and it also comes in black. And then we have these studded motorcycle boots. I am so in love with these shoes. They have studs on both the back and the front, and I just love them. They're kind of inspired by a pair of shoes that I wore last year that I really liked, but they just weren't perfect. Like, they were just, it wasn't very comfortable and they weren't quite the right height. I just think these are perfect. And then there's these little fringe booties over here. These are so cute with like skinny jeans or leggings tucked into them. They just look so chic for this time of year with this fringe on the side. It kind of looks a little dressed up, but a little casual at the same time. I just love the combination. I think it looks really nice. Then I have four pairs of ballet flats. We have six pairs in the collection. Two of them are down in this bin down here, which I'll show you in a second. But the reason that we did so many pairs of flats in this particular collection is because we knew that a lot of the people that watch our videos are younger and are in school. And looking back to when we were in school, we knew that we didn't like to wear heels to school. A lot of times boots, yes, but heels not so much. I did wear heels sometimes, I'll admit, but I'm also super girly and into that and I know most people don't. So we wanted to get some really fashionable, cute ballet flats in addition to our flat boots just to give people a dressier option and something a little bit different than the typical boot that you would normally wear this time of year. So these are extremely comfortable. Now these ballet flats do run a little bit big compared to some of the other shoes from Just Fab, but I still wear the same size. I actually like them a little bit too big because that way it doesn't cause blisters on the back of your heels which is a problem I have with ballet flats so I would still get the same size but just know if you're kind of on the edge of two sizes they do run a little bit big and then below that I have a couple of pairs of booties and a little pair of um, like fringe open-toed sandals that I still think are kind of fallish so I kept them out these I showed in my fall accessories haul which I will have links below because I just got those I think they're really cute I'll show you what's in these bins in the bottom I have my tennis shoes in this one and I have all of my slippers in this one so like all of my house shoes my fuzzy slippers and stuff I have in this bottom one and these don't slide out very easily they're very snug but you know I don't access these that much so it's kind of nice to just have them tucked away and looking neat and pretty and colorful and black and pink. This one has all of my ballet flats and some flat shoes that I wear a lot but I just didn't have room on my shelves for them so they kind of got tucked in this basket. This one is all of my white socks. I don't pair them up because they're all identical. I always get the white ones with the pink tips. These are from Target. You get them in like major big bags. So I just wash them and I throw them all in here and they're all identical so there's no need to um, pair them. 
This one has some Solera cell phone cases. This isn't all of the ones that I have, but these are all of the ones that I have that I've kind of rounded up and put in this basket since I decided this would be my Solaris basket as of yesterday. So I'm still rounding them up. They're all over the apartment, but they're so cute. So that is our cell phone accessory line. And then this one is kind of a mishmash of like everything else. So I have some flip-flops. I have more of my Just Fab shoes. So there's a leopard one here and another studded one. And then underneath all of these shoes, I have all of my colored socks that aren't my fuzzy socks. So I have three different places I keep socks. I have my colored socks in here, my white socks in here, and then I keep my fluffy socks in my nightstand. So I'll go ahead and show you that as well. I keep all of my fluffy socks in the bottom drawer of my nightstand because normally when I'm gonna wear these more comfortable snuggly socks it's when I'm actually already in bed and my feet are kind of cold and I'm like oh I wish I had fluffy socks so I thought it just made sense to move them into my nightstand so I can just grab them so this is actually a pair of gloves that go with some socks that are underneath it and these have like shea butter inside of them then I have my little Halloween slippers some shea butter socks these are more shea butter socks and then i have more halloween ones and then i have some christmas ones back here so that is where i keep all of my fluffy socks so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said i will link below the videos of what this rack and my shoe shelf looked like before i rearranged it for the season and i will also link below if you guys want to check out the Fowler collection for Just Fab because it is limited edition and it will only be in stock for a couple of more weeks. So I will link that in the videos below and I hope you guys are having an amazing and safe Halloween and I will see you guys later. Bye.